what is your overall take about the Dallas Mavericks trading for Christian Wood? Uh, point blank period. I think we robbed them blind. All four players that we traded don't necessarily play for us. I mean, the best piece that they got is going to be the 26th overall pick. I'm not going to sit here and say they can't draft an absolute stud. I'm not going to sit here and say that Trey Burke can't go and give you meaningful minutes or slightly backup player minutes, but Boban Marjanovic stood on the bench. Sterling Brown lost a lot of minutes the more he played because of his offensive liabilities. Um, Trey Burke lost his uh, bench time the more that Frank Nilakina played, the more that Jalen Brunson came out, especially after the Spencer trade. And then Marquise Chris was a two-way player that we signed during COVID. They got a multitude of 10-day contracts that we ended up having to sign to a two-year, two-way deal for the next two seasons. So technically, Boban's on the last year of his deal. Sterling's on the last year of his deal. Trey's on the last year of his deal. Marquise Chris is on the last year of his deal. All of them were signed for vet minimum deals outside of Trey Burke. So we alleviated their cap. We relieved four players off of the active roster. And we gave away our, our draft pick for this season. Now, Christian Wood is due $13 million this season, so we will be paying him more by himself than we were paying these four individual players, but he's giving me 18 points and 10 rebounds by himself. He's giving me 50% shooting from the field. He's giving me somebody that can actually go out and be physical and guard and block shots and make a difference in the post and in the paint. He can run the pick and roll and hit those mid-range jump shots that Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleba cannot hit. He actually makes a very big difference in the offense because he's somebody that can create for himself and exploit mismatches when he has a guard matched up on him, whereas Dwight Powell and Maxi Kleba do not have any form of a post game. So I will go out there on a limb and say that this trade is immediately upgrading this roster significantly, and now it's just a matter of what else we do for the rest of the season. I cannot lie. I have one of those intuitions, one of those gut feelings we took off a lot of people from the roster. We just alleviated four players off the roster to, acu- uh, to, to acquire one. I have a weird feeling that this trade potentially, I'm not saying I, I've read any rumors. I think that maybe we did this to package him and somebody else to acquire more pieces. Now, I don't necessarily know if that's going to be Christian Wood, Tim Hardaway and a couple of other players and future picks for Boban Marjanovic, excuse me, Boban Barnjanovic, the the Utah guy, the guy that missed the shot in game six, damn it. I can't get his damn name. Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich, there you go. Uh, And then, of course, Rudy Gobert has been attached to it. I know that we're trying to go after DeAndre Ayton. I mean, the the Mavericks are tied to a lot of different free agents this offseason. So... I'm just, again, we could end up keeping him and I'd be absolutely satisfied. I love Christian Wood. I think he's a great player. I think he's very athletic and I think he could do a lot for this team. But I wouldn't be surprised if Nico and Mark are looking at the bigger picture to say, we got some players that are pretty useless off the roster. Now we've brought somebody in that's actually valuable. Maybe we pair him with somebody else to go and get a couple of different players. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I just... If I had to put it out of like 100%, I would say like there's like 20% of me, maybe even 25% that would say that I wouldn't be surprised if Mark Cuban were to package him up uh, for, for, for a couple of other players. But I do like the trade. I think it's great. And I think it's an immediate upgrade. 